Apulia, or as the Italians call it, Regione Puglia. This is the area which we might call the heel of Italy, situated just there. Now, when we went to Malta, we found that it had been taken over by some Normans from Sicily. Though we then found in Sicily that the whole of Sicily and southern Italy had been ruled by the Normans. So we're going to Brindisi, from where we will see Lecce, Gallipoli, Taranto and Otranto. We'll then move up to Bari from where we will see the area up to Barletta. We'll go to Melfi just outside the area and then down to Martina Franca. This is Brindisi. We're on the north side of this bay and we are going to go down these steps to catch a ferry over to the town. Brindisi is a naval base for the Italian Navy. The port of Brindisi, the Roman Brundisium, has been since ancient times an important centre of trade with the Eastern Mediterranean. It was used by the Crusaders as a naval base. Just over to our left, there is a monument to Italian sailors. There it is, which was uh, erected by Mussolini. Ah, now here comes the ferry, which we shall be catching, hopefully. In more modern times, Brindisi has been the normal port of departure for Europeans travelling eastwards. Even with today's low-cost airlines, many ferries leave here for Greece and points east. So this is Brindisi, or as it should say at the top there, Gateway to the East. There's the historical centre, with at least two of the old gates remaining there. We caught the ferry there, and we came over to here, having seen the Italian sailors there, and from here we've got boats leaving for the East. The end of the Appian Way from Rome, which had two columns, one that disappeared and we shall see that later. So then walk up to the square with the cathedral and walk through seeing various other churches including the round one there, one with a nice cloister there and finish up at this gate here. And now there is the column marking the end of the Appian Way up the steps in a short distance and we're in uh, Cathedral Square. Listen to the sound which will accompany us for all of this trip. I mean the swallows. Those arches there I am told are the last remains of a Templar building and just to our right the Cathedral. This Cathedral has apparently suffered seven earthquakes and was completely rebuilt in the 1700s. From around 1000 AD the Normans began to arrive in what we might now call southern Italy. They came as mercenaries offering their military skills to the local barons who were uh, usually in contention with each other. At the same time, uh, or as a standby between contracts, they lived very nicely off the local populace by employing the time-tested devices of brigandage. 
One of their earliest bases was at Melfi, which we hope to see later. I'm not sure if that man on the horse represents a saint or the Crusaders. Another glimpse of the Templar building. And a short step away, we're in this square where we can see the World War I War Memorial. Just to our right is Santa Teresa. Ah, now here is also a, a reputed Templar building but it's interesting to look at this next picture which shows what it was like before it was restored and this applies to so many of these old buildings. Now we have the uh, Church of Santa Maria de Angeli. That roof is a flat roof and that picture is painted up there to look like an arched roof. This building was commissioned in the 15th century by Giulio Cesar Russo, a Capuchin friar of Brindisi, who later became Saint Lawrence, one of the patron saints of Brindisi. That painting is Our Lady Among Angels. Another short walk brings us to the church and convent of San Benedetto, Saint Benedict. The church was built in 1089. There is a lovely medieval cloister. This area had been, as was Sicily, subject to visitation, attack and or conquest by anybody around the Mediterranean who had a boat, including Carthaginians, Phoenicians, Moors, Saracens, etc. The Greeks settled colonies throughout the area. In 267 BC, the Romans arrived. Now we're a short walk away from the Porta Missania where we can see next to the uh, gate tanks which were built in Roman times and collected water from 12 kilometers away which was distributed to all the fountains in the city. 